Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Minecraft shaders for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1 .1, and these shaders are really good for low-end PCs, devices and laptops because they do give us some good frame rates when we play them. I am using the latest version of Minecraft which is version 1.17.1 .1, alongside Optifine for version 1.17.1. .1. I do highly recommend that we use these shaders with Optifine because we are able to change the settings and they are more compatible with Optifine compared to Iris shaders. These shaders are actually called Makeup Ultra Fast and I am going to show you guys later on how to download and install the Makeup Ultra Fast shaders and also how to download and install Optifine for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. .1. Okay, so on my top left there of the screen, as you guys can see, I am getting close to 570 FPS currently. And this is all thanks to the Makeup Ultra Fast shader that I've got installed here. So as you guys can see, we do have some nice water effects there and we have some normal shader effects as well. I am using the lowest setting for these shaders. So as I mentioned earlier with Optifine you are able to change the different profiles. So if I just go into my options, click on video settings, click on shaders and then for makeup ultra fast as you can see over here I'm going to click on shader options and in the profile bit over here I have selected very low. Now what's really interesting is that each profile has three options for it so it actually has three modes for the very low profile and you can tell by how many stars it's got after the name. So as you guys can see it says very low and it's got the one star there. If I click on this bit again you can see it's got two stars and the reflection has increased a bit there as you can see from the slider and if I just keep on doing that you guys can see all of these other options gradually increasing and turning on as I move into the ultra and then extreme profiles. So if you guys are wondering what the extreme profile would look like I'm just going to activate that and show you guys. So as you guys can see I'm now getting close to 200 FPS and we've got everything that's turned to the max. We've got shadows enabled, we've got moving grass, we've also got some really cool depth of field effects as well. Just going to place a block here and as you guys can see I'm going to focus on this block and everything behind it is now blurred which is really cool. It's a nice effect that we do have here and you can see the water has also increased. We can actually see through the water and we've got the moving leaves on the trees over there alongside the player shadows as well as you can see over here. So if you guys do have powerful machines I think this shader is also viable for you guys as well. So if you've got a really powerful system or even a, a medium to high end system with a decent graphics card and you are able to get more than 60 FPS then by all means do try this one. However if you guys are also on a lower end system PC or laptop then I think the shader is also very good. We can go to video settings, shaders, shader options and then I can change that to the very low setting and one of the main things to note is that when you select the very low setting obviously it's going to turn off the shadows, turn off the volumetric light and the bloom, one of the key components which affect our FPS in the game. I'm going to click on done and as you guys can see it's now gone from 100 to 200 FPS all the way up to 400 to 500 FPS and as you guys can see I'm just walking around here and I'm getting on average 450 to 500 FPS there. Obviously the moving grass and the moving leaves on the trees have now been disabled alongside the other stuff as well. We do interestingly still have nice water so as you guys can see I'm just going to go towards the water over here and as you guys can see we do have some nice looking water graphics as well. Normally with other shaders when you select the low profile it does disable the water graphics as well but it's quite interesting that we are able to maintain around 500 to 600 fps and still have this cool looking water as well. I'm just going to change the time to show you guys the night time as well. So as you guys can see we do have some nice nighttime graphics and this is fully playable and this is on the low profile obviously. So if you guys were running this on a low end machine, low end PC or low end laptop and you selected the low profile at night time it would be fully playable as well. Let's go ahead and change it to the high profile as well just to see what that looks like at night time. So let's go for the extreme version with the three stars there. 
as you guys can see we do have some nicer looking clouds there and nicer looking shadows as well as you guys can see on the ground over here we have some nice long shadows so as i said earlier if you guys do have a medium to high pc and can run this quite comfortably then by all means do try this shader out it is a really nice shader to use and if you guys haven't already checked it out definitely try it out if you guys are on a lower end machine then i would recommend to change the shader options to the very low setting and just gradually start to increase things once you start going over 60 fps i really do like the flexibility that the makeup ultra fast shaders give us compared to other low-end shaders like the T-shaders or even the potato shaders because I feel like we do have more control in these shaders. We have so many different options to play around with. We don't just have the profiles that we can select. We can actually go into other stuff here like advanced options and go into all these other bits and pieces in here and change them. We can even change the way the clouds look or we can change the color scheme as well as you guys can see over here. So I think that's really cool. They've done such a nice job in making these shaders and giving us all these cool looking options so as you guys can see i've got now different clouds but i'm still getting more than 500 fps and i think that's amazing for a low-end pc to be able to achieve high fps i think that's really nice and they've done a really good job at giving us all of these options with these shaders so i'm going to show you guys now how to download and install optifine for minecraft java edition version 1.17.1 and then i'm also going to show you guys how to download and install the makeup ultra fast shaders for minecraft java edition version 1.17.1 all right so the first thing we're going to actually do is to make sure that we do have the latest version of java installed because we do require java to be able to open up the optifine installer and once we've done that we can open up the optifine installer install optifine and then play the game with optifine and enjoy the shaders so in your internet search bar just start typing in java jdk and this time just type in 17 so just type in java jdk 17 and we need to look for the oracle link which is this one and don't worry guys i will leave a link in the description so you guys can just click on that link to go straight to that page so just click on the oracle.com link and it should take you to this website now once you come here because i'm on a windows based machine i'm going to click on the windows tab here i'm going to download the x64 installer so it's going to be this file but obviously if you guys are on linux or mac os you can go ahead and download those required files if you require them so let's go ahead and download the x64 installer for java jdk 17 it is a big file so i'll be right back once this is finished downloading all right so as you guys can see it has now finished downloading the java jdk 17 file i can now close this down and in the search bar i can now search for minecraft optifine so let's go ahead and do that it's going to be the optifine.net link which is the main website for optifine if you click on that and then go to the download section and obviously it's going to be the latest release which we need the file for which is minecraft version 1.17.1 and as you guys can see it does say optifine hd u g9 so this is the latest stable release that we do have for version 1.17.1 you can obviously go ahead and download the preview version so this has actually been released after the stable version but for now i'm going to download the version which is optifine hd ug9 if we click on the change lock over here you can see that it's still not compatible with forge so if you guys do want to use this with forge you guys would have to use optiforge and i will leave a link in the description where i've done a video about how to download and install optiforge which will allow you to use optifine with forge so you could use mods with shaders at the same time so do make sure to check out my video on optiforge okay i'm now going to click on this mirror link here to download optifine and then click on download so let's start the download for this and i'll be right back all right so as you guys can see it's now finished downloading the optifine installer so i can now close this down and in your search bar again just start typing in minecraft makeup ultra fast shaders and it should come up with a curseforge.com link so just click on that link and we should have the latest version of the file on this website so this is the data that we need to download which is makeup ultra fast by the author xavier fst so let's go to the file section and let's click on the download link for the latest release of this shader so that's version 6.52 as of today's date for minecraft version 1.17.1 i'm going to click on download so let's wait for that to start and i'll be right back 
All right, so as you guys can see, it's now finished downloading the makeup ultra fast zip file shader file. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to place all of these three files on my desktop and I will show you guys how to start to install all of them. All right, so as you guys can see, I've now placed all of the three files on my desktop. And the first thing I'm going to do now is to actually start the installation process for the Java JDK 17 file. And to do that, I'm just going to double click on this file exe and start the installer. As you guys can see, it now says this software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to select yes, and I'm going to go for all of the default options by clicking on next. So if you guys want to install it to a different hard drive or anything else, do make sure that you do read all of the options. I'm now going to select yes and start the actual installation. As you guys can see, it now says Java has been successfully installed and I can now close this down. So we can now move this file out of the way and now we can move on to installing the Optify installer. And to do that, what we need to now do is to right click on the jar file, select open with and you will see it does say Java platform SE binary in this section. So if you guys have installed Java, like I just showed you, you should see this Java platform SE binary link here. So click on that and it should open up the Optify hd ultra g9 installer for minecraft version 1.17.1 just click on install and it will start the installation process it's quite quick and as you guys can see it now says optifine is successfully installed click on ok and now we can move this file out of the way the next thing we're now going to do is to actually open up our minecraft launcher let's wait for that to now load up all right, so once the launcher has loaded up, you will notice that it does have Optifine at the bottom left here. And if you just click on the drop down, you will see it says Optifine version 1.17.1, Optifine HD UG9. And to play that, you could just click on play, but we don't want to do that right now. We want to install the shaders. So go to the installation section over here, hover over any one of the links in this section, and just look for a folder icon like I'm showing you right now. Click on this folder icon, and it should open up your default Minecraft directory. And let's close down the launcher in your default Minecraft directory you should have a folder that says shader packs if for any reason you guys don't have shader packs or this is the first time you are installing Optifine or shader packs right click on an empty space select new click on folder and then just rename that folder to shader packs I'm now going to go inside this folder I've already got some shader packs inside here I'm going to click on the zip file for makeup ultra fast shaders and just drag it into the shader packs folder just make sure that you are dragging it into an empty space and not into one of these other zip files because it is going to end up going inside those zip files so as you guys can see it now says makeup ultra fast version 6.52.zip in the shader packs folder and we can now close this down and now we can actually go back into our minecraft launcher and launch the game all right so now you guys have got two options you can either launch optifine by making sure optifine is selected on the drop down here clicking on play or you can go to the installation section over here and highlight optifine 1.17.1 Optifine HD UG9 like I'm showing you guys here obviously if you are watching this video in the future from now you will have higher and more up-to-date versions so you don't necessarily have to download this particular version okay so you can just click on play and that should launch the game now all right so as you guys can see it's now loaded the game we can now maximize this window and we can go to the options click on video settings and you will notice that it does say shaders over here so we do know definitely that Optifine is installed and working and at the bottom left here does say Optifine HD G9 Ultra so we do know that everything is running as it should now to enable the shaders click on the shaders button and you will notice they might say off for shaders so just look for where it says makeup ultra fast click on that file and it should load the shaders into the game so you will see that makeup ultra fast has been highlighted with a box as you guys can see it right now and then we can go to shader options and I can select the profile for very low there we go we're now going to click on done and click on done again and we can just click on single player launch a new world let's go ahead and create a new world all right so as you guys can see the game has now loaded and we can immediately tell that shaders are working because the water looks really nice we do have some nice sky effects there and we can tell the game does look different if you are installing optifine for the first time i would recommend that you go into the optifine settings by going into video settings clicking on other and we can actually go ahead and select the show fps to on and that way I am able to see my FPS in the top left corner of my screen there. So you guys can see I am getting close to 590 or possibly slightly lower than that in the FPS range there. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. And for any of you guys that are 
using a low-end PC, low-end laptop, or any kind of low-end device, then this shader, which is called Makeup Ultra Fast, should be helpful. So if you guys are on a low-end system, if you do install Optifine and then use these shaders, hopefully you should be able to get some good FPS with these shaders by selecting the low profile. Any of you who are running a medium to high end machine should also be able to download this shader and tone up the profile settings to medium high or ultra or even extreme and enjoy the game with more higher definition as well. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about installing any of the items I've shown you guys today. So if you guys have any questions about how to install and how to download Optifine for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1, then do leave them in the comment section below. If you guys do have any comments or queries about how to download and install the Makeup Ultra Fast shaders for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1, again, leave them in the comment section below. Please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching